I'm Jordan Moranis. I am one of the co-founders and the CEO of Elevation. I had been uh, working at New Schools Venture Fund about 10 years ago, and there were a couple things through my work there investing in education technology that really informed the founding of Elevation. Uh, we learned certainly that there were 5 million English language learners across the country. It was the fastest growing population of students in US schools. These students uh, experienced the widest achievement gap. It's wide and it's persistent, more so than race and income. Uh, and when you spend time with teachers, you realize that they are um, greatly underprepared for the work in classrooms given the complexity of a linguistically diverse classroom. Probably most important what I learned was we could not find an entrepreneur nor an early stage company to invest behind. And so we spent much more time with educators and learned a couple things that were um, particularly interesting. The first is that districts uh, experience an overwhelming compliance and data burden. Most people really don't understand the additional layer of standards, assessments, and requirements. I'll just give one example. If you're in Texas, you're required to hold an LPAC meeting between two and four times a year for every English language learner in the district. So that's between 200 and 250,000 of these meetings that require four or five different people and recommendations to be made. It's always been done on paper. We've put that all online. Um, administrators, because of that overwhelming burden, spend way too much time away from educators in the classroom, and so they're unable to provide the kind of support that educators need. And classroom teachers are being asked to be teachers of both content and language and don't have the PD or the support uh, from the administration that they need. So uh, we set out to build, and we have built, a software platform to meet the needs of educators at each of these levels, but most importantly, to help English learners achieve their highest aspirations. So we help uh, with data and management and compliance. The LPAC that I just described is one, but you can generate letters required by Title III in 35 different languages. You can complete the federally required monitoring process over four years. These are things probably none of you know much about, thankfully, but school districts are overwhelmingly burdened in this area. We help ensure that educators working with the same English learners are collaborating, that teaching teams are working together, that they're sharing information on how students are doing, their strengths, their needs, and how they are acquiring language. And all of that is in the service of instruction, insights to drive instruction. So we've worked with some of the best uh, academics and researchers around the country to build out uh, an online library of activities and strategies that help educators personalize learning for English learners based on the data that we also collect. Let me be a little bit more specific. So if you're a teacher and you've got 30 students in your classroom, 14 of whom are English language learners, speaking six or seven different languages at two, three, four different proficiency levels, uh, you've got an enormous set of challenges. So if you're teaching area and volume or anything else across the curriculum, we can help you by identifying strategies and activities, tying them to the student data that we have, and helping you to make sure that you can deliver that content in a way that English learners can participate. We've grown fast over these last seven years. We work with about 730 school districts in 45 states, about a million English learners in six of the top 10 school districts. Uh, that's about 23% of all English learners. We're on our way to 50% over the coming years. We care deeply about growth. We care just as much or more about efficacy. Uh, and we now have data that's demonstrating that as schools use elevation deeply, they can accelerate learning in both math and ELA for English learners against their English-speaking peers. This is a study out of uh, Garland, Texas, that showed way more progress for English learners um, over their English-speaking uh, peers across the district. So uh, to date, our strategy has been to help solve very complex compliance challenges, to build very deep relationships with school systems, and to add on accretive modules that really help inform instruction. Over the coming years, um, we're much more focused now on opening up new markets. Uh, we will start extending elevation to educators of other student populations, like migrants. Uh, we will uh, now start thinking about building out elevation straight to students. We'd be the only company that has an application focused on language acquisition that is serving both the educators and students. Um, we're evaluating a couple different international markets, 
And there are um, other verticals that we have been asked uh, to start to serve from our partners that we are now considering entering. So thank you very much for being here.